a new dating app is launched. Instead of a photo of the person, it shows you a photo of their bedroom, car, kitchen, shoes, how they have their tea coffee, things like that. What photo would tell you the most about someone, and would you be most interested to see to choose a potential date? The subreddits they are subscribed to. Single farmer seeks woman with tractor for marriage. Sent picture of tractor. How they load the dishwasher. I'm a big clean bedroom person. I know everyone would just tidy their room for their photo, but if it was honest it'd be really handy for me. To be honest, I just need an audio file of them chewing. Their bathroom. I feel like I judge a person on the state of it. I feel uncomfortable if it's in a state of really uncleanliness due to you using it to be clean. Also if their towels are constantly damp. Edit. Changed spelling from back quote there to back quote there. Their kitchen sink. I would like to see their fridge please. I would never marry my wife if I knew how the room looked. Feels like a scene from Indiana Jones some days. Instead of snakes, cats jump at from under piles of stuff. Their collections. Do they collect books? Board games? Video games? Sneakers? Cocktail dresses? Makeup? Computer parts? Minerals? Dead insects? Skulls? Empty Doritos bags? Children from different mothers' fathers? Beanie babies? I wanna know. The last six meals they cooked. I wouldn't want to see their car, but their vehicle's maintenance history. My last ex had a 2018 Chevy and killed the engine because she went 60k miles without an oil change. I met someone the other day who just brought out a dating app that required a photo to be taken every day at a random time. You only had 15 seconds to take a photo of yourself so you couldn't fake what you look like. He told me sometimes he had to take a picture in a busy metro. Pretty interesting concept. If you missed the photo opportunity you couldn't use the app for the rest of the day. Side note, anyone remember that old MTV showroom Raiders, where the girl guy would go through like 3 people's rooms, and try to determine who to date based upon their room? This could totally work. Edit. I said it once twice 3 times in this thread and I'll say it again. Who f king cares that it was clearly staged faked. I don't know any of the girls and I don't know any of the guys. I have no involvement in any of their lives, it doesn't matter to me if they are real it was entertaining. I didn't watch Room Raiders as a junior in high school because I thought love was in the air and that somebody would find their forever by sniffing panties. I watched it because it was hilarious. Edit 2. Some of you are really mad about my first edit. Guys, this is a scredit. I'm sitting in my pajamas talking about a TV show from 16 bathroom. years ago. If I'm allowed to take a deep breath, how those I'm two rooms of a home are about the show, I can tell you a lot about it in person. over a decade until seeing this their bathroom. This morning. Computer desktop. Are you making this app? Op. Their bookshelf. Edit. I didn't realize it started discussion, so I'll add to my answer. Bookshelf can mean anything from actual bookshelf to error to even just a list of books they read. I love to read and can't imagine being with someone who has no interest in learning. It's not so much what someone reads, so long as they show an interest in learning, expanding their minds, and enjoying a good story. Seeing their bookshelf can tell you a lot about what interests they have, and the interests you share. You don't have to like the same books at all in fact I love the idea of sharing my favorite for books sure with someone who will never read them, but will hopefully Spice enjoy cabinet, them and vice bookshelf, versa. Browser bookmarks. Bookcase and their Spotify playlists. I would want to see their garbage can. You can tell a lot about how messy, resourceful, healthy etc they are from their trash. Which way the toilet paper roll is. Like I app for burglars to make a list of from which room to get what the quickest way. Screenshots of his texts to his mom. Obviously a photo of their junk drawer, you know, the one full of cables, batteries, spare Christmas cards from 5 years ago, small change, and those kinds of things. Video game collection. Someone, somewhere is data mining private internet profiles to meet people online. Gold diggers would thrive. Not answering the question, but that is one of the most brilliant ideas for a dating app I've ever heard. 
I'd say probably their bedroom as you can tell a lot about someone through this. I mean it's their own space, where they can relax and decorate it however they'd like. You could see how many pillows and blankets they have, their personal choice of decorum. Whether they like to read, what their style is like from their wardrobe, how they'd decorate the walls, whether that would be paint or wallpaper, whether they had posters or certificates or awards or pinboards or calendars or pictures or paintings, etc. I don't know what it is about it, I just feel like you can learn a lot about someone via their bedroom, and for me personally, I know but that it's something I analyze when inside. going to a friend family clean, member's house and stay invited to their date you. I've always grown up with my parents keeping the inside of our cars neat and tidy, and make sure there is no garbage in it, but if one of my friends or their parents drove me somewhere, and their car had trash and crumbs everywhere, it just makes me uncomfortable. A full access to their browsing history. Nope. No way. Not happening. Sounds like the HGTV version of Catfished. Their favorite place to relax. Could be a balcony or a garden a nice couch in the living room, in front of their computer, etc. The garden, or their version of it. Young hot burglars are in your area. I'd like to date a guy with good sneakers, but they are dirty. He's stable enough that he can afford a nice pair of sneakers, but doesn't sweat it if they get dirty after somewhere. My ideal man. Finger nails if I see the sloth tips him out. Bathroom. If your toilet is nasty, you're nasty. If a grown man can't clean his toilet, he's looking for a mom, not a partner. This is a brilliant idea. Someone should start a service like this. You don't ever get a picture of the person however. When you meet them the first time, you're getting to see them for the first time. No expectations. Okay op. First I gotta say good job on an original question. I think the best picture that you could see to get to know someone would be a picture of their bathroom. First, over or under on the TP. Second, cleanliness. If your levels of cleanliness don't match in the bathroom, they probably won't match everywhere else. 